northeast of the city of Groningen, you will find the Lower Ems Delta. It is one of the last open estuaries in the Netherlands with important international nature values. The delta is known for the beauty of its open landscapes. The area has economic value as well. There is substantial agriculture and industry. This area of natural intertidal flats has been reclaimed and cultivated by man since around the year 1500 using natural silt deposition. Since the 1960s, the latest hard dike works as a border between water and land, and most of the natural silt deposition has now stopped. The Ames Dollard Delta faces three major challenges. Rising sea levels, subsidence, and silting up of the estuary. Without measures, the estuary's nature will be at risk and the issues related to salination, peat oxidation and subsidence will increase on the landward side. This calls for a different approach to the Ames Dollard coast. The ED2050 programme focuses on the development of a climate adaptive and innovative coastal zone. In many projects, we aim to remove silt from the estuary for various beneficial uses. Applications include raising the level of the coastal zone, raising low-lying agricultural land, making clay for dikes. Let's take a closer look at four projects. Within the Ames Dollard region, there is much low-lying agricultural land consisting of peat with a thin layer of sea clay. Due to the rise of the sea level, these areas are increasingly suffering from brackish seepage water. Draining is used to keep the area suitable for agriculture. A lower groundwater level results in peat oxidation, releasing a lot of CO2 and causing the soil to sink even further. Without measures, these lands will eventually lose their production value. This is the reason for the ED2050 programme's trial to raise agricultural land by using silt from the estuary. If this trial is successful, we intend to apply the method on a larger scale. The Grote is a low-lying area right on the coast. Several parties wish to redesign the area as a recreational nature reserve and natural silt trap. The coastal zone will be raised so that it functions as a future-proof natural and safe buffer between land and water, fresh and salt, with the use of silt from the estuary. The Twin Dyke project is another example of a buffer area between land and water. A second dyke was constructed on the land side with clay from the area. The area in between is partly a natural tidal area where silt deposits and partly laid out for saline agriculture and aquaculture. A new nature-based water safety concept is combined with preservation of the economic value of the land. That is the idea behind the Twin Dyke. The Wide Green Dyke project is exploring the validity of the soft design for a required dyke reinforcement using silt from the estuary as clay over a length of one kilometre. The water board is to test the wide green dike in the coming years. If the test is successful, the water board will reinforce the entire Dollar dike in this way. Important issues in all projects of the ED2050 programme are water safety, nature, quality of life and agriculture which are therefore always included in the design phase of new projects. Our work therefore includes the construction of cycling and walking paths and islands for breeding birds. Near Delft Zell, a recreational beach has been constructed in combination with a salt marsh and dike reinforcement. The ED2050 programme takes action on challenges that are relevant today. The idea is that we learn from the practical projects in the area and scale them up in the future in order to create a flourishing Ames Dollard Delta, a future-proof transition area between land and water, fresh and salt, where ecology, economy, water safety and quality of life go hand in hand. A flourishing coastal zone 
with an infinite horizon.